Hi guys, how are you today? Time to talk the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So we got a lot to talk about in this video. We're gonna talk about the uh, last night's, is it the final episode, John? Yeah. Last night's reunion. We're gonna talk about uh, the rumors that are going around about Teresa and much, much more. So let me go ahead and oh, um, show my opening and allow more people to come to the room and then we'll get right into it. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? All right, let's get into it. But before we get into it, I have to acknowledge the obvious. Don, you've been up all night breaking stories, haven't you? <laughs> breaking stories. It has been a wild few weeks. I will say that. Like I have, yeah. If Crazy. anyone does not acknowledge the fact that you are a hardworking man Ooh. and you deserve everything you got, got. First the Snowdens, that was like, I thought that could last the whole year. That was explosive. And then last night, I'm not gonna talk about it yet because I'm probably gonna have you on to talk about it again. It's been explosive, huh? Yeah. Uh I I don't even have words. Uh, my head's been spinning since last night, especially with the whole Larissa stuff going on and uh, with the Snowdens and we're all a team and I couldn't even be here without you, Sherelle. So we're all one team and I'm just happy that we're doing good. So you're, you're doing more than good. You're kidding me. <laughs> National syndicated um, magazines are picking up your stories. You got to be proud of yourself. All right. Now let's get into the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, Last night, what did you think about it, John? The final, it's the final one, right? Did you yeah, yeah. have to see it? Um, you know, I was in Jennifer's, you know, I kind of been like here and there with Jennifer at points. She, she, uh, I enjoyed her this season, but I felt like Jennifer lost all her credibility points last night with me. John! I, I do. Like I, I, her, she was so vehemently sticking up for Teresa when, you know, even Dolores turned on them. You know, when Dolores jumped ship from Teresa, you know, something's up. Yeah. So I, I thought that Jennifer was just trying too hard to kiss Teresa's ass. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Okay, you went from saying that it was a brilliant move, that's a smart thing to do, when you're new on the show, tell, okay, uh, she's a A kisser. But don't make yourself look stupid, you know. Teresa does, like Margaret said last night, Teresa does a good job of playing dumb. So, you know, and then there's Jennifer just backing up, you know, whatever Teresa says. Like if Teresa said, guys, two and two is five, okay? And that's mm -hmm. what that is. Jennifer would be like, yeah, it's five. You guys are you guys are crazy. You know, you're wrong if you don't believe it, that two and two is five, you know? It, it's insane. You're being a hater. I really love Jennifer. She's a smart businesswoman, and she knows whose side you have to be on in order to... Uh, stay on the show. So, okay, so this is what I wanted to bring up before we started um, recapping. So you've been hearing the rumors that Teresa's new guy, Louis, is a cheater and has a, a sex addiction. Have you heard that? I have. Okay. And her friends were very leery of him. And when I say these two have been going around town having open public displays of affection, it's getting quite sickening, right? Okay. It, it really is. Uh, <laughs> you know, and Teresa's got, you know, the four girls. And I, I keep thinking back to when they had the Watch What Happens Live with the kids. And all the kids were like, I don't want to see my parents doing any of this stuff. But, uh, I mean, you know, she, I guess she's happy. So, good for her. <laughs> John, come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. They are slobbering all over each other in public places. Uh, Teresa's going around talking about pineapples. It's getting quite ridiculous. So when I heard these rumors, my first thought was, he's bad for her. You don't marry someone with a reputation, or date someone, excuse me, with a reputation of being a, a, a horny, oversex cheater. It they're just doesn't make sense. They're definitely acting like they're like 20 year olds. And like, you know what, you know, and, not a fan of Teresa this season or last, but I will say that I'm happy that she's happy. 
Yeah. You know, but she's, I, I don't know. Well, you know, well here's, I was starting over again at like being 42. Maybe I would act like that. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they're ever, they're kissing every, it's ridiculous. But the problem I'm having with it is seeing Louis on the show, I liked him. <laughs> What, what do you think, Perry? Is Louis a winner or does she need to get rid of him? It's too early to tell. I mean, let's keep it real. The whole thing is when they asked him the question, oh, well, when you going to pop the question or whatever, do you see yourself? He said, well, hopefully in a year or two, we wake up in the same bed, basically saying, I don't no. know yet. Yeah. Because if it's true and he wanted four times a day and she wanted three, you still minus one showing. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So it <laughs> might not satisfy. We don't know, but we'll see. But Louis also like the rebound, like so. He's so he's so bad the rebound. You exactly. are right, John. You don't you don't marry the rebound. The rebound <laughs> is what gets you out of your your funk, and then you know that's that's your starter house is your rebound, and then you move on from there. You know what I mean? So, right. It's, it's uh, Louis like is a, like 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 a mid age crisis, but they, people go through these things. Like I, I think. At her age, she could want these things. And, and that's the problem, I think, that she sort of got with Jackie. Because when she had Joe, it, you know, it hit the toilet, right? But I think you still want these things. And I think wait, Teresa... Wait, Harry, slow down. You think Jackie is jealous of a No, 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 no. Teresa, that's why I think she's sort of jealous of Jackie. You think... Wait, what? You think Teresa's jealous of Jackie? I don't... What? I do think Teresa's a little jealous oh, of Jackie. Oh, wow, I'm really, John? I, I, you know, Teresa wants to get Evan in bed. You know, Teresa likes Evan. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that's why she started that rumor, so she can get Evan all to herself. I don't know. <laughs> well, and, and then, it, it, yeah, and then it's more, it's sort of more than just even, she always talk about sex. It's way more than that to her. I mean, that's something she, you know, like the single person, I always get that, like the single life is great, right? So, oh, sex, oh, I had it four or five times, whatever. But I think that she's wanting that stability in her life or that true love. And hey, what are you, I'm still smoking weed. This just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> play it, girl. Oh, play play it. More weed every day. That's you, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa has absolutely no reason to be jealous of Jackie. No, that no, makes Jackie, you know, over the PDA, don't you mean over the TMI? Another yeah, one, another one of the reasons. Louis was all over her PDA and Andy and the crew. It was disgusting. It was so inappropriate. Love y'all. Thank you, Jenny. It was so inappropriate. They, she was giving me goosebumps. Like, just stop. Just stop. Uh -huh. I can't take it. Well, I'm only saying though. I mean, I might smoke weed every day. <laughs> oh my God. I see what's going on, and I, you know, for me, I feel like that. Uh, that's what she truly wants. Most okay. people want most people want happiness, right? And I think when you see a couple that's happy, it, it reflects on you, and you get to look at yourself oh, and realize God. her life. Perry, was a Perry, just just make it stop. Just stop. That is the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I ever heard of. Teresa has no reason to be jealous of cheap. I know you are the Jackie ambassador, John. I know, but listen, cheap. since Jackie's been on the show, she's always been coming for her. Like, you know, what is what is it about Jackie that Teresa just can't stand? Could it be that she's like a little envious or something? Oh, right. God. Maybe, maybe like Jackie Evan, doesn't know like her Evan. place. Maybe Jackie goes too far, making comments like, if you knew, if you could control your man, this was last season, then he wouldn't be in prison. Remember that one? And then this one, you know, um, she just... Jackie, yeah, every time Jackie has given Teresa, it, you know, Jackie was just clapping back at what Teresa said. Oh, so, you know, God. and Jackie's a lot smarter than exactly, Teresa. Exactly, oh. exactly. And she should have. That's just fact. Listen, you could hate Jackie or me or love Teresa or whatever, but, you know, Teresa thinks she's, she can gun for Jackie and Jackie always puts her in her place and she shuts that down real quick. First of all, what the hell is going on with you two being on the same team? That, like, what? No. I told you I would make Jackie grow on you before the season was over. Well, yeah. no, so, no, no, no. I still can do without her now on the show. It's but, too late, Perry. You already showed no, 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 Jackie no. loving tendencies. I'm talking about why Teresa is going at Jackie. I think Jackie is a wonderful woman, you know, got her thing. But we watch these shows for drama, entertainment, and stuff like that. She got enough money. She don't need it. Okay. 
in my opinion. She don't need the show. And it's not like she got the strongest personality. So you can go, well, why would why would Teresa be jealous of her marriage? Because hell, you know what? Some people want to have the strongest personality on the show. They want to have the most fame and they want to have the most successful marriage. And she don't. Oh my, let, let me read this really quick. Bria says, I agree with John and Perry. Really, Bria? Oh my goodness. That's right, Teresa that's right. wants Evan all for herself. And there's no way in hell Teresa would ever forgive Jackie for that Gia analogy. 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 I, I have trouble saying that word. Analogy. Um, every, everyone's just, oh my God. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I'm not going to let you rattle me. Teresa is not jealous of Jackie. If she wanted to be in a relationship, she would have stayed in a relationship with Joe. But look hey. at it. Look at it. Like, you know, they both have four kids, right? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of comparisons that you could make that you, Teresa looking into Jackie's life. Like, oh, Teresa was a, uh, uh, Jackie was a lawyer. Jackie uh, is a oh, writer. Oh, John, please. Jackie's got the four kids. Oh, Jackie's, my got, God. Jackie's got the hot <laughs> husband. Jackie, you know, Jackie has a career. Jackie just bought like her, her uh, what is it? The 3.5 million house in West Hampton. Um, and that's what you get for throwing pizza parties. Good for Jackie, see? You throw pizza parties and you have boxes of, of gifts from Amazon <laughs> at the end of the driveway. And that's how you can buy oh $3.5 million West Hampton beach houses. Good for oh Jackie. Oh God, I, 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 I can't, I'm gonna move on. Okay, so let's go to what happened on the show last night. Um, it opened up with Margaret coming for Jennifer and calling Jennifer a drunk. Is that what you're going to say, Margaret coming for Jennifer? Is that how we're going to play this? Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Margaret was coming for Jennifer, John, not the other way around. She called Jennifer a drunk, and she knows damn well Jennifer's not a drunk, and she just beefs it up for the show. I mean, she who's, almost who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Just saying. Wait, say it again. She, she did a, a face dive into the cement at the pool party. She's lucky she didn't lose like all her teeth. I mean, look, I mean things happen. Things happen. And look, the whole thing is this. Now, I think whether I think Jennifer came at Margaret more so, but mm -hmm. deservingly so. Margaret is the uh, you know the person yep. that's spreading all the rumors. Okay, that it's okay. Right. First, let me say this about the drunk thing. Teresa, I mean, Jennifer is not a drunk. Can you give me that, John? Can you give me that, uh, Jennifer? Listen, not a drunk? Does she, does she, okay, does she probably, does she drink every day at the house with her kids there and fall down drunk? No, I don't believe that she does that. Does she get super drunk when she's filming and they're at parties and yeah? Yes, absolutely. Every time they go out, Jennifer gets lit. Right. So, I mean, and that's what you, that's what, how you're portraying yourself on national TV. Oh my God. I don't God. think she drinks with the kids. You know, no. I don't think her and her father pound them back when they're at the house talking shit about her mom but she, i like i i you know she does drink excessively on the show well i, I think all of them have a good time and do all or whatever you know because i can say the same thing like teresa always talking about some damn pineapples you know what i'm saying <laughs> Expressively. you know what i'm saying and you know looking at the pool board the gardener and whatever's moving you know what i'm saying so i mean i, I think all of them bring something to the table like that but I don't really think she's that kind of drunk. I think she over drinks at times. Oh my God. We all know how reality TV works. If you don't bring the drama, you're not coming back. That is part of her bringing the drama. Okay, there. Jeez, I can't believe you guys. All right. So, are you done, um, are you but, done uh, Dolores? Huh? Are you done, Dolores? Did you call me Dolores? Yeah. <laughs> Why you am I Teresa, Dolores Perry? You Teresa assistant today. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dolores flips. Even Dolores can't take it. And that's my point. Like, you know, Dolores not once ever defended Teresa or Jennifer last night. Like, you know, it should have been, you know, Dolores, uh, Margaret, Jackie, and Melissa on one side, and then yeah. Teresa and Jennifer on the other. Which is uh -huh. why Dolores needs to be fired. I like her. I think she looks beautiful. All of her work looks good. She's not bringing anything to the show except Frank, and that can't be her storyline. I mean, well, how will we feel though if Frank left? But I would have I to would keep feel her. Inside. Did Lois get my vote because we got to keep Frank? Oh yeah, we do have to keep Frank. So we get to keep the know. guy in the outhouse. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> we got to keep okay. him. Let's talk about how ridiculous Margaret is and how John will never turn on her. Okay, let's talk about that. No, let's I, talk I, about I, I, listen. I have given you credit. You know when I thought. Uh, when last week, whenever, when 
Margaret was with Jennifer and she said the thing about like Joe Gorga not paying. I actually believe that she had said that to her. Uh, so I, I give you guys, I gave you guys that one. I, I mean, you know. I guess. All right. <laughs> we'll take it. But uh, she wants to say that uh, Jennifer is victim shaming <laughs> uh, Jackie. But even Andy was like, uh, you, you know, how many people have to say it? Like even Andy was like, but well, that was when he was talking to Teresa about it. But, you know, even Andy didn't let them off the hook on that. I mean, it was everybody against those two, including Andy. Give me an example of victim shaming, John. Just one well, example. It was just, you know, the way she was saying, you know, uh, Jennifer saying that Margaret was easy and breezy and, you know, slept with everybody and they were good looking and whatever. <sighs> I'm, I, I, I'm not ready for this. I really thought you guys were going to be on my side. I didn't even plan any one liners. You guys need to just shut up. So that's the best I could do. Just <laughs> shut up. Like you guys are just being overly ridiculous. What's going on with you? She was not victim shaming. Uh, Margaret, if anything, she was revealing how she felt and she's allowed to do that, right? And, and I feel like Margaret brought this shit on herself, okay? Let's keep it real. Like, Margaret is jealous too. Oh my God. No, I mean, for me, I, I, I mean, first I feel like Margaret, okay, Margaret, Margaret is sitting there out here. there and what irks her about Jennifer, it brings up the fears of what she's not. That's so ridiculous. I mean, I, can't, I don't even know what to say. What What is she not, Perry? I mean, like young. I'm younger, just full of energy. Margaret is really dry <laughs> oh and a gossiper. Perry, and a no, come on. I, I'm not feeling Margaret and her ways. I, and I love a liar, her for the and show, a liar. Let me add that in. But she knows she's the culprit. She knows she started the rumor, and right. she knows that what, Jennifer. Oh, so Margaret started the rumor about. You, Come on. We have evidence. We have evidence, John. Joe Bonino tried to spread her rumors. You know, she they were in bed one night and she says, Hey, why don't you mention to the guys that you know you heard the rumors too? That that's mm -hmm. the evidence that we but need. that would have backfired on, on Margaret. What do you mean backfired? How that it's happened. Sort of, it sort of <laughs> did. It sort of did when uh, they called them out for saying it. <laughs> I mean, she never her. thought she was gonna get caught. <laughs> That's what happened, okay? You got, I mean, John, come on. Does Margaret do anything wrong in your eyes? Yes. Like starting rumors? She didn't start the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to trap him. Because <laughs> like, like. I feel like, I mean, personally, I feel like she started or got a big hand in it. Maybe somebody could have told her, but she went all the way out because of jealousy. I mean, she just wanted to just throw things out there. I mean, she just... What about when Margaret was a questioned? Person. Go ahead, Perry. Sorry. She's just a miserable person. In my Margaret? Mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not happy with herself. She's not happy with her husband's Perry, title. You're he's going not way a, too She's far. not a plastic surgeon. No, I mean, she's getting tired of people looking at her husband as being a plumber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what Perry see. I don't know what y'all <laughs> watching when y'all watch this show. But she left her husband to be with the plumber. You know what I mean? Like, you know. What was his job? What was his job? What was his job? The, the, the ex husband. Jan? Uh, I don't know. Jan, I don't even know what Jan did. But What's Harry, his you're I mean, being he ridiculous. He probably didn't do a damn thing, so the plumber was next. You know, but people satisfied for a while until they see other titles that's bigger than theirs. So with these women, it's all about titles and stuff. To me. I'm not taking the bait. Perry just says things to get under my skin. You know damn well Margaret's not ashamed of her husband being a plumber or jealous of anybody because her husband's a plumber. That's really no way though. I mean, either that. I mean, I don't even want to have to go there. But I'll just say either she want to exchange them in. Uh huh. Maybe she want another husband because shit, she's jealous of something. What? The other people's husbands. Oh my God. She maybe, loves Joe. Maybe Jennifer's so. husband. Maybe she want him too. I don't know. Uh, anyway, look. Um, I don't think Margaret's jealous. I do think Margaret is the cause of the rumor. I do think that Margaret knows damn well that Jennifer's not victim shaming her. What Margaret's doing is being a good, very good, um, what do you call it? cast member. Okay, so when Margaret sent the book and champagne to Jennifer's room and Teresa's room and Jennifer was like, I don't know where that came from. Like, mm. like, come on. Like, who, like, Margaret's like, it's my book. 
<laughs> Who's gonna leave my book in your room? Oh my there god! Was a note. She goes, I didn't know it was from you. She goes, but there was a card. And then hey. Teresa was like, mm, well, I, you know, you called me the exorcist, so I don't want, you know, I didn't, I didn't really care about it. So okay, listen, up, listen, listen, this real quick. Somebody in the comments said Margaret is either a madam or a swinger. <laughs> now, Perry, nobody what, said that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, somebody actually said that in the comments. Yeah, yeah no, I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm only telling you. See, I mean, because when y'all come in, y'all come in. Oh, we're gonna watch the little house on the Perry. You know, no, I watch this shit for what it really is. It's some jealous people you on the thing. Now show. you got the people in the chat acting ridiculous. This is yeah. what they're saying. Margaret is jealous. She's ha had to pay for everything, including her men. Now, exactly. Billy, her men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't believe that uh, Jennifer was slut shaming Margaret, whatever you want to call it. I really don't. But I want to talk about, and I'm going to go out of order. I want to talk about Jackie going too far with this Evan thing. She was crying as if it was newly happening she really uh tried to back Teresa in a corner you know you know he didn't do it say it you know he didn't do it why is she being so over anxious overzealous about this rumor that we all know at this point that's not true is she trying to save her job well what's her what's her problem the way she was talking to Teresa about it she kept bringing it up and if you think about it it was the only storyline that she had all season long by well, the why way. is it Teresa it's never Teresa's fault right it's not, so not when, this time Danielle, no, when Danielle Stab made the comment about children to Margaret in a fight last year Teresa's like oh that's okay yeah that's fine children are fine but then the analogy with Gia children are off limits how dare you and then exactly. what was what was the other thing that Teresa did? Oh, with Kim D. So when Kim D said that, oh, I heard that there were, you know, uh, cheating rumors about you or whatever, you know, that's when uh, they were at the posh fashion show when everything goes wrong there for all eternity. You know, Teresa threw the chair at Kim D. But then it's, but then Teresa flips it because it's not also the same when she does it for. Jackie, why why does Teresa always get away with this? Because it's her show. It. Because the Lewis, because the Lewis and Sherelle let her. You know, that's why <laughs> she get away. No, with Dolores her. was not letting her get away with, with anything last night. <laughs> <laughs> Look, John, I know you're the Jackie ambassador. But it's okay, it's got nothing to me about me being friends with Jack or liking Jackie or Margaret or whatever. It's just fact. Like, you know, Teresa lets Teresa lets her little. Because she's you know. not annoying about it when she does it, John. Jackie held on. She cried the entire season over this Evan thing. She didn't show up to a couple events. Like she, like how long are you gonna ride it? She's now still talking about it at the reunion as if it just happened. Well, I she get was it. emotional. I mean, you don't go after my loved ones. You well, know, no, I, get it. I mean, you Evan know, was devastated. I mean, yeah, Evan if, looked real devastated. If they went after her husband for no reason, just made it up. I mean, because I haven't seen no receipts that the guy cheated. So, I mean, and it's a bad thing. When that's all they want is a great husband, they just can't find one. So they go and attack her and ruin is, her what relationship. Is what is happening here? John, John and Perry are double teaming. No, 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 no. Like I said, like, what's going like, on? Like oh, listen, y'all know I was team Jackie and Margaret before this started. So that, that yeah, you but you're extra coming, team so. Jackie today. You're like putting in like going an extra mile. Like but, but you're Sheree. not acknowledging that that's the only story. But how do you ignore those facts that Therese, it's a double standard with Teresa? It's okay for Danielle to make fun of Margaret's kids, but when but when Jackie uses the analogy, it's horrible. And it's okay for Jackie to spread rumors at Evan's birthday party. You know, I just wanted you to know, but she never told Jackie. Like at the party, I just wanted you to know, but you went to every person who wasn't Jackie at that party and said, oh, listen, Evan's banging people at the gym. So, but that was okay. But when Kim D said it, all hell broke loose. And that's my point. John, pipe, pipe, pipe it up, pipe it up, but pipe down just a little, pipe down. You and De Marie, listen, this is Teresa's show. She knows how to bring drama and make I us talk it. about it. That's I, what she's doing. I get it. If you bring drama, you got to know how to take it back. But can I just read this one comment? Because I want to make sure this is clear. This oh, person God. says, are you kidding? Margaret isn't jealous. My husband, a plumber also. Now, this has nothing to do with the job title as being a plumber landscaper, anything. It's not that. It's that this was fine with Margaret when she first did it. I think when they start getting on these shows and getting jealous of other people's men occupation, 
is the problem. It's not what they husband actually do. So it's nothing about being a plumber. So I, you know, I just didn't want to. And also, uh, you would have to defend that how the statement that you made is just ridiculous and not true. You're starting rumors. She is not jealous of Therese. Of um, I mean, look, it's not a rumor. That's my personal opinion. I mean, because like you saying, I mean, where is your proof that she's not? (laughs) I mean, can I see the evidence, please? It's not none. I know that Margaret loves Joe a lot. Like, I don't think that she's, you know, she left her husband and her stepkids and everything for Joe. And I, I don't think that Margaret is jealous of anyone else's marriage. She, she loves him like crazy and he loves her back like that. I can understand. She, she's not okay. I, I agree with you, John. They love each other, but Margaret did start the rumor. She just, it is what it I is. Mean, you know what, though? I get it. I mean, but I, for me personally, I look at if a person is that much in love, wouldn't they be content? Why would she have to go start all this other shit? And so, and then Perry look at it this way. You know, why are you starting it? It got to be a reason. When I find the motive, I, I feel like she's jealous. I That's feel just my like, opinion, people. It's just my opinion. Could be wrong. I I'm going like to apologize next year. Last night, uh, it was... Jennifer holding people accountable. Okay. She was, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was holding people accountable. Oh, uh, Sheila says, get them, John. Margaret's husband owns property. Oh, God. Now we have the whole, oh, John. No, John does not know what he's talking about. Listen, I'm the voice of reason. I'm, thank you, everybody. Um. <laughs> Listen, last night, Jennifer was holding people accountable. She said in the previous season that, uh, in the previous show, that it was Margaret who started the rumor. And then she also said that uh, Mar- Margaret, did you guys hear when she said Margaret sleeps with married people? Wait, during the <laughs> argument, she blurted that out. Did you guys, I wrote it down because like no one really heard it. She was really coming for people uh, being, you know, defending her job is what she was doing and uh-huh. then making people accountable. I mean, everyone except Teresa, she was holding people accountable, making yeah. them accountable. I mean, I mean, you can't fight them all at one time now. You gotta just, you know, pick and choose now. Okay, okay, let's talk about Dolores. The, and going with the only storyline that she has on the show, which is Frank and David. Um, and I don't think David's going to marry Dolores. What do you guys think? Yeah. I mean, I think he barely likes her. What do you I think? I don't know if it's that far, but I I don't see it. They've been, she said they've been dating for like, what, four and a half years? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just a weird relationship. I mean, you know, to be honest with you, I couldn't do it if I was David, only because you know what? Sometimes when you get married, you want the person to yourself. I mean, you can't have the you're gonna bring up Frank. Guest. You can't have the ex in the guest room. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know that's really ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Andy asked uh, Dolores, did she think that David was going to marry her? She comes c- comes up with this cockamamie story that oh he had a, a first he was it, he's divorced and he has children i don't think he's going to date anyone i mean marry anyone that he is going to remarry it's just not going to be you dolores i mean right. please he does not like her Do, can you give me that john does dolores love does david love dolores and going to marry her i i doubt it I don't think, I think that they love each other. I don't think they're going to get married. I, I honestly don't think that Dolores wants to marry him, to be honest. I, I, oh, I no, 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 no. You know what? You know what? No, I mean, I mean, that could be true on both sides. Oh, uh, well, he, He's not in a rush. Dolores, and then, no, no, let me, let me reiterate what John just said. He thinks Dolores doesn't want to marry David. Well, that's my point. I mean, because really, where's she going to deattach from the ex-husband? That's never going to happen. I think it's the other way around. I think David doesn't want to marry Dolores. He barely came on the show this season. The only reason he made appearances is because he didn't want to make her look bad. He he's not interested. Dolores I mean, and Frank Senior will never ever not be as together as they are. You know what I mean? That that they're like best friends. You know, they're all tight with the kids, and there's no way that there'll ever be like any type. You know, and that's hard to walk into. You know, when well, yeah. I mean, I mean, who the hell want to have a argument with your lady, your wife, if he was to marry her. And, and Frank standing get, in the doorway. And you get to get hear from the counselor, the ex. <laughs> There's a reason why you're the damn ex. But I think it's still and still still there. But she's afraid to go back because what Frank do. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying Dolores loves Frank 
and with David just to be doing something. It's a, okay, now she love. I think she loves still got these feelings for Frank, but really can't really feel like she can trust him because his behavior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's and interesting. You know, I mean, so she tried to get the little squeaky guy, David, and figure he'll be there, but she still wants her little freaky thug with her, Frank. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, David, it, you know, financially, he's great for her <laughs> and stuff like that, but she liked that thug life with the freaks, but she don't want to be cheated on. Why is Frank a thug, Perry? <laughs> so I mean, like, no, well, basically, what I'm saying, like, his personality and David's, it's like, Who's the more outgoing one? The more just don't give a shit. Like that's. No, the I said thug. What makes well, you think? Well, I, I'm just saying that's the. Well, he's a thug compared because to because he got his license revoked as a lawyer. <laughs> oh yes, it be that. And, and you know, just the wanting to have orgies, strip joints, all this what are you stuff. Talking <laughs> Carrie, I will not be talking to you for the rest of the video. This is, you're getting more and more ridiculous. I mean, sometimes I'm starting to think we, we you know, we're not watching the same show. What makes you think that Frank goes to strip clubs? Who he even talks about that? it all the time? Hey, have you? Yeah, no, he goes to strip clubs. Is that true, no. John? Did he yes. say? Did he talk yeah. about it? I mean, I I think so. I mean, he definitely told. You guys are me. making a. You no, guys are making told Frankie. You know, that was like a, a a story once of that him and you know he would tell Frankie his conquest, and then like Dolores was like, "Is this true?" And Fra and little Frankie's like, "Yeah." Uh, so yeah. you know. I don't know what to do with Perry and John. You, I don't know why you're backing Perry today, but he's going to lead you down a road of destruction. You can't hang with Perry. I Perry am backing so my ambassador Jackie and my girl Margaret, and um, <laughs> I'm going to have D Dolores and Melissa on my wings. So, that's oh my on. goodness, um, I've, I've lost what I was going to say. Um, that Jennifer's horrible. Oh, no, oh, no. Also, I, I wanted to talk about, about this. That. I feel that the men on this show are the best cast of men throughout the franchise. They really get along and really like each other. Now, you might have other people, let's say Mauricio hangs with PK, but, you know, it, I'm not loving that relationship. I just think this group of guys, including Disappearing Act, David, and Never There Evan, the, all the husbands and the guys on the show get along really good. So much so that I think they can have their own show. Absolutely. Okay. There's nothing like this husband dynamic on any of the other franchises and yeah. they can carry themselves. And they're all like, they're the house husbands in New Jersey, you know, um, they're all okay. friends my, minus David. And um, yeah, you can't find it on any other. Um, franchise. Yeah, you really can. I mean, trust me, they go in that back room, start playing poker and drinking. And they have a good time. Just say, "Hey, man, you see what our wives did today?" That they're, they're making. Yeah. This they don't get in the you women's know, business like that. Yeah, Except and pretty much every event, every husband goes to it. So it's like the the women's event and the men's event, and you see both sides as it yeah. plays out. Like you know, you don't see that anywhere else. There's nope. only one hiccup, one guy, and that would be Joe Benino. When, in my opinion, he was taking his. Is, are they married? Margaret and Joe? Yeah. yeah, they're married. Taking his wife's advice and talking about the rumor. Besides that, these men get along. But you know what? I really want to talk about this episode. Joe did a 360, 180, whatever the words is. And now he's saying that he never said, said that rumor. He's saying that, what, let me write it down what he said. He said that it was a misunderstanding. And uh, he never said the that rumor about Joe. Uh, Evan cheating. This is a bold faced lie. We all heard it. Do you right. think you could just take it back? Like, oh, I'm sorry. It was a misunderstanding. I didn't really mean it that way. What? Look, the guy, messed Joe, up. you know, yeah, you're he lying. Messed, he messed up and just repeated it. But, you know, it happens sometimes. But he's a good guy. Though. He messed up and repeated it. How about Margaret <laughs> told him what to say and he didn't get it right, got it all wrong, and she's upset with him. And uh, that's why she reacted the way that she did. She was screaming to her lungs when she's they told upset her. Because it got out and then the spotlight was on her ass. That's exactly. it. She, that's so it. This, this is my evidence that Margaret is the one behind the rumor, the yeah, way that yeah. she's acting. And now Joe wants to take everything back and say it was a misunderstanding. Yep, he heard me. what he said. You were on <laughs> film. How could it be a misunderstanding? That's the only guy that disappointed me just a little because I do understand that 
you know, he, you got to follow Margaret's rules or, you know, you're going to get her wrath. Sorry, John. Well, look at Bill being a little snake and telling Jennifer at boys night when, you know, it's bros before hoes and all that stuff. That, oh, Jennifer, did you hear this? Uh, Joe said that he knew about the rumor all and then, come on. Now you see what I'm really? saying? So, really, I mean, John, you're trying I'm to turn this so, around? I mean, I mean, so all love them messed up to a Just certain saying. degree. But the women should have went, never went back and repeated it. <laughs> Look at this. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> is Jennifer on the payroll? Where, where you at, Jennifer? Come come pop out. Where you at? <laughs> is Jennifer paying Cheryl? No, she's not paying. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the chat, they crack me up. You guys are on fire today. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Can I bring uh, something up? Is Jackie saying that she, oh, oh, the statement that Jackie made about, did you get your confidence for jail from jail? That, I thought that was fair. That's a low blow. No, no. But she no, only no, said that no, out no, of no, what no, no, Lisa it's not. was doing to her. That, that was a clap back. You know, T Teresa said something nasty to Jackie, and Jackie was like, all right, you want to go with me? Let's no, do I, it. I, I mean, I mean, if I remember it right, and maybe, you know, sometimes Perry get the show <laughs> episodes mixed up. But didn't she just give her a big deal though before that and tell her she yeah. never should be sticking? Uh -huh. Listen, for, two wrongs doesn't make a right. Well, no, and no, no. Well, no. But sometimes two rights make you feel better. <laughs> two wrongs make you feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like, why should she let Jackie throw out these accusations about her and her husband and no, just rush? Did I you mean, learn that confidence from jail? That that's you not what you know. I mean, sometimes, look, Terrell, sometimes you get to check somebody and see because sometimes Teresa oh, forgets and thinks she's no. oh, But sometimes she can be reminded of where she been. Don't worry yeah. about what her husband it was, low. it was a low blow and she went too far. She went too far when she was you talking about Ter Gina. Teresa paying you too. You, you got Jennifer and Teresa <laughs> paying you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you guys, it was a low blow when she said that about Gia. That's her daughter. Is she on drugs? That is just a low statement. And one that uh, Gia but came that, on the okay. show. Oh, come on. That was Gia an analogy. Said from her own mouth. That's not even, you it know. It affected her at school. All of her sorority uh, sisters heard uh, it. <laughs> I'm like, it affected her at skin. school. You don't say, is your daughter on drugs even and okay about the analogy even Therese was like well you know if, if if jackie had said you know this is an analogy and then made the statement and andy's like yeah people don't usually say um this is an right. analogy and then lead with it it's just you're supposed to know what an analogy is children Some, yeah. are not Sometimes. go ahead Sometimes you feel like the person should be smart enough to understand that yeah, I guess oh Teresa was. No, I, I'm only saying, I mean, you know, why is it okay for Teresa to come and just throw rocks all over the place? And if you just raise your hand at her. Children are wrong. off limits. Is Gia on drugs? You know what? Okay, though? so but, but it was okay for Danielle Stout to make fun of children, according to Teresa. But it wasn't off limits then. I'm just saying, I don't know. To different time, different place, John. You're not going to trip so, me up. Children are only off limits sometimes then. No. I mean, what, is it? what are the other? Children are off limits. You don't say things like that. And poor little Gia had to go to school and answer to all of her friends no. what happened. Yeah. You know, I let's feel so real. bad. And, you know, she was fine. Like She's at Rutgers. Nobody gave a shit when, you know, <laughs> when the episode aired and, you know, Thank you. Teresa called... Teresa called Gia and G was like, actually, mom, you should apologize. Okay, because be frank, yeah. something happened. And then all of a sudden, you know, Teresa probably got in Gia's ear, you know, because you, you don't go against family. No, she and, could, she she saw the episode, John. That's what happened. But okay, ahead. so but I, I'm sure Teresa always like you don't go against, especially your mother. So I I, yeah. I can't see Gia. <laughs> Thank you, Maurice. Of course, well, Gia know, defended her mother afterwards. In or my opinion, though, seriously, like I mean, this child isn't thirteen, okay? And you know, oh God, I'm gonna say this now. You talk about nobody kids, but I don't think it affected her the way you trying to make it come across. The way she tried to make it come across. These are well, her own words. 
Well, I mean, a sorority I mean, at Rutgers, like they ain't, they ain't all doing the yayo to begin with. Like, come on, let's just get serious. And, and then think about this way: <laughs> they've been on reality TV show for how many years? They learn from their parents. Um, oh yeah. wow! Is that she is lying too, Perry? Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not talking about nobody's kids. I'm just saying I don't think it affected her how you trying to make it out to be. She how she made it out to be. She said it affected her at school, okay. and they almost had a meeting. To find out if she was okay. Oh my God, they okay. almost had a meeting. Oh my God. Yeah, that, yeah, that, poor, yeah, that poor, yeah. poor girl. So how many meetings meeting you was have almost when, you, when she in high school or whatever and everybody's talking? <laughs> People talk anyway. So how many meetings is she really having? In my Listen, opinion, you I can't don't think take away her experience and she well, no, said no. it affected her. Okay, so I just take that and say whatever. But I don't think the lady meant it that way. And and if she could be so sensitive about that, she could be so sensitive about her mama going out to somebody's marriage, too. Maybe she should have a meeting about that, too. Well, did should uh, Teresa take it to heart when Jackie said that Teresa's trying to ruin her marriage? Well, that was that what she was trying to do, wasn't it? What? Ruin the marriage? Yes. Oh, my God. I think Jennifer is buying sure. <laughs> 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 Listen, I don't care what you guys think. I am sticking to my beliefs and I, I, I don't I just don't like Jackie. I just don't. And it looks like she's gonna come back, right, John? Is that what you said? I think I think they're all they're all coming back mm. and then they're testing out one or two new friends. But from what I'm hearing, um all six of them will be back for next season. All right. With a couple of new friends that are that that, that they're auditioning right now. <sighs> Listen, I, we got to wrap this up because we got to come back in 15 minutes with Beverly Hills. What did you think of uh, the last reunion, John? Um, I just want to ask your thoughts on um, Teresa answering the questions from Andy, whether she uh, slept around or was faithful to yeah. Joe, because it took her about a good uh, minute and a half to say, yes, who was buying that? Did you did you believe that, Sherelle? I did. I did. I believed it because <laughs> because Teresa has no reason to lie. She's divorced now. She could have told. So why the didn't truth. she just say immediately? No, I would never do that. No, it took her like a minute. To she answer didn't that hear question. him. She didn't hear him at first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, well, whatever. Yes, no, like, <laughs> you know what? So, you know what so, I mean, I'm not even sure if, if, if whether she heard him or not. She could have been wondering if he wanted to know how many, and she was trying no. to. Add him. Perry, no. You know, Teresa ain't good with that quick math, so maybe Perry's right. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe she you didn't know. Terrible. You're rotten. You're trying to get me to break, and I'm not going to break. Team Teresa all day long and Team Jennifer, and you guys are not going to turn me against them. It's just not going to happen. Someone said she slept with the pool boy. You guys are rotten. No, no, no. <laughs> or that, who I actually like, I like Teresa. Me. I like <laughs> Teresa. I think she's entertaining, but she's messy, too. So, I mean, you get to be able to recognize all her uh, talent. The guys in the chat, they're cracking me up today. So they really are. Uh, anyway, um, so listen, do you have any last words, Perry? Because we got to wrap this up. Oh, you and know then what? We got to come back and we're talking about Beverly Hills, which really needs to be talked about. It really does. Uh, what did you think of the last th part three of the reunion, Perry? Oh, uh, what, th what? This one here? Uh, Jersey, yeah. It was just two parts, right? Yeah. I don't know how many parts, but yeah, I think well, whatever was, the last part. Yeah, you know, I think it was okay. I, I'm just, you know, glad that we, you know, moving on. And, and one last question: Are you okay with everybody coming back? You know what, though, I mean, I soften up. I don't know why. I mean, maybe I don't know. We got into it. Me. Me. You're welcome. But, but Margaret, Margaret, remember I was saying, let her go. Uh, what did you fire Margaret? No, 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 not Margaret, but uh, Dolores. I'm sorry. Yeah, Dolores has to go. No, I know, but I feel like I want oh, to give her. Oh, no. Okay. I to, oh, Perry John has her, gotten to. Perry, Perry want to give her one more chance because since she got the improvements done, because she might can land a man. What what improvements? The plastic the surgery? Up. The, the tighten up. I think that Dolores is finally starting to find her voice. And I think. John, how is she? John, let's give her one more chance, right? <laughs> She's give finally me one, starting give to me speak one up. example of Dolores finding her voice. 
um, at the party when they when she stormed out because they had like the pool going or, or the the pole or whatever about uh, you know she's still, she's still, she she even told Teresa to f herself and then at the reunion she wasn't like letting anybody get away with anything. I okay, think John, since you you want to be funny, here's another funny question to you: <laughs> What is Dolores' storyline? Um, <laughs> see, <laughs> she wears too much bronzer. That's her storyline, <laughs> and let's see what happens next season. Um, but I, I think that, you know, one more try. I think, you know, when Dolores first came on, she was best friends with Siggy. Um, and then when that melt, you know, I think Dolores kind of lost her way a little bit. Um, and I, I think she's finally like in a place where she's getting there where she actually might bring it. Especially since she's known Teresa for like 20 years since they were in high school or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that she's not afraid to stand up for herself right now. So I, I'm going to give Dolores one more chance. And if it's boring and next season, then you're right. You guys are right. And she should go. I would like for her to have one more chance because I feel like her storyline now is Teresa's caddy. Okay. She's Teresa's caddy. She but, is. But I think, and this is my opinion, I think she could have learned something from Jennifer that sometimes you got to step the damn game up. And I think next year she might just do that. Listen, Dolores has to go as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, I, I you a hater. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know why you changed your opinion on the last episode. And right. then someone in the chat said Dolores should come back and let us know how the new okay. Vic JJ went. Real quick, though, you know somebody <laughs> that we really didn't mention and, and, and I'm fine with leaving because they can get her back for free as long Ooh. as they keep her husband up. It's Melissa. Remember, she's yeah. supposed to yeah, have. Yeah, we didn't mention oh. Melissa at all tonight. She's wow. supposed to have brought it. Didn't say Remember? much. Yeah, this is gonna bring it. Melissa, don't. She was a no show. Mm -hmm. You're right. She and she hell. was a wall. Like, yeah. Okay, I mean, you're right. If someone needs to be fired, I don't think they're gonna fire Melissa though. Period. No, but the, the, the she's thing connected is, to Joe and the family. No, 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 no. Then that means you can film her for free. <laughs> She you know, know, I think about what? Melissa this whole time. This is crazy. Yeah. You, you think Melissa should take a pay cut? No, she needs to be gone. Zero. Listen. All right, you guys. Uh, as a whole, I really enjoyed Jer Jersey this season. It did get boring in the middle, and I'm glad they shortened the season. Um, I expect a full season next season, and I expect more storylines than just one, which is Evan allegedly cheating. We, <laughs> we need several storylines going on here, and that's why it fell flat, but I'm willing to give the whole show another chance. Are you guys... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. I'm ready for it. All right. I wanted to thank everyone for your super chats. You don't have to support the channel channel and you do. So I really appreciate it. You guys in the chat, you were cracking me up. It was, I love it. I love it. Keep them coming. The, the sly, uh, sarcastic comments. I love, I want to thank my moderators. I want to thank my co-hosts, John and Perry. We will be back at one o'clock with an extra uh, panelists. That's going to be Gabor. We're going to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and how real it really got. It was really good. All right, you guys, let's say bye on three. One, two, three. Bye, bye guys. Bye.